Hey folks, so we are still in section 11.2 and we're talking about symmetry. So we have three different kinds of symmetry. We could have line symmetry, turn symmetry, also known as rotational symmetry, and point symmetry. Now, line symmetry, the first one that I want to talk about is going to be a geometric, I'm sorry, a geometric figure has line symmetry if it is its own image when folded along the line. So if you think about folding this particular figure along that line right there, it would be its own, it would line up right on top of itself. Uh, another line of symmetry in this particular figure is going to be, if I can get it to straighten out there, there you go, uh, is going to be this way. So it has two lines of symmetry, this particular figure. So that's going to be line symmetry. If you go down a bit, we have rotational or turn symmetry. I will use both of that, both of those terminologies. A figure is going to have rotational symmetry when a copy of the figure can be turned between zero degrees and 360 degrees and the copy matches the original figure. So if you can imagine turning this particular figure, uh, starting to rotate it somewhere between zero and 360 degrees, and you get the exact same figure back. This particular figure, if you rotate it uh, until it's upside down, it's the exact same figure as it was when it started. The last symmetry that we have is point symmetry. Point symmetry is going to have uh, exactly 180 degree turn symmetry. So if I can turn it upside down, then it is point symmetry. Not only is it rotational symmetry, it's also point symmetry. If you'll go back a little bit, if you'll look at my example A here, if you turn this guy upside down, you do not get the same figure back. So it does have rotational symmetry because I can rotate it a certain amount and get the same figure, but it does not have point symmetry.